Okay. Huh. We got three options. I think I'm gonna go with that dude just because I do love a sword and shield combo. And I could see a little tweaking in their their soul essentially. Be not afraid. Haven't touched this at all, so I'm just gonna experiment and see what it's like. Hey, <laughs> Beryl. Age of wonders. Wow. We wove magic into steel and shaped the elements with our words. And yet, even in this golden How you age, doing? there were stories of cities falling to darkness, of a force reaching from the shadows. It does. We didn't believe my friend Doc or Dom recommended it, it to me, so I thought I'd give it a try. Lurk, I'm a nap the for. Okay, Revy, have a good nap. I appreciate you popping by. I hope work goes well for you when you go. I still gotta fix my lurk command, but still, I appreciate it. Oh, hey, thank you, Gray. Stretch and a hydrate. I'll do that real quick. Oh no, why are you saying oh no? <laughs> but we weren't defenseless. <laughs> we must get to the beacon. This is foul magic. Sign up, clear a path. On it. Horns, anger issues. Remind you of anyone? Shut up in front. Uh, uh yeah, that's a lot. Wow. <laughs> That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I got you. I'll, no, I'll do it. We're through. What now? Now, Wingrave. We I did eight sips right there. Somehow, these markings. I can do this. So got another sixteen. <laughs> I might have to refill my water at that rate. We have to buy her some time. I think the dude I'm playing as voice is voiced by JB Blanc. You're not that evil. <laughs> oh. One more. Okay. Oh shit. to carry the light of the architect into the darkness. Yeah, that's JB Blanc. <laughs> vanquish the forces. I love how this dude looks. How much time has passed? It's all vague. I remember countless enemies, cultists, monsters. And also, thank you to everybody that's joined so far. It seems that the empire has been swallowed up by this darkness. Oh, that the architects themselves may have fallen. 
I'm very proud of you. You're taking a big step in, in less than, you know, 30 days. You're such a good friend to people, so supportive and kind. You're funny. You're so creative. Your artwork's amazing. Your streams are always a good time. I thought we'd lost you. I'm very proud of you. We need to get you back to Skylight. Well, thank you for the hydrate and posture check, Fulgrim. How you doing? <sighs> There's no time to explain. You're trapped within the gloom. But with that shard, you can cut through the shadows. You must move quickly. Oh, y'all are going to stream soon? Nice. What y'all going to stream? I like how this is. I wonder if I can customize how my dude looks later, like colors and everything, because I would definitely give him a soul look. Die, evil plants. You don't belong in this world. Although, maybe you do, because this might be your world. Heavy attacks to attack with your shield and break the enemy's guard. Ooh. Oh, that's that's nice. So we get a little wombo combo. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the combat in this feels very nice. I do like I can double jump. You know, I love how with this dude being built like he is, it's not a very high double jump. But hey, we'll take it. Weapon ability, huh? Okay. That's totally not Dark Siders going. <laughs> I'm liking it. This dude's wearing like 50 pounds of armor. It's realistic. Yeah. What the 
Oh, okay. Do 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 Hey there, Levi. How you doing? Uh, I'm enjoying it. I see why uh, Dom recommended it. Menomina, hey there, Set. How you doing? I, I saw you were streaming earlier, and you know I was at work, but I, I did pop by and stuff, and I tried to get folks to stop by and say hello. I hope you uh, had some visitors, and I hope you do. I'm glad you're doing good. Folks did stop by. Excellent. Items acquired. Okay. This is Wayfinder. A friend of mine recommended it to me and I thought I'd give it a shot. Breakfast could have been better. My friend, it is so good to see you again. I thought we'd lost Work you was forever. all right. Your omen? I remember a battle. Don't worry. Your memories will return in time. That battle took place a year ago, and you were lost in the gloom. We've been trying to bring you back ever since. Let me show you. The Eldrin attack was a distraction. The beacon was always the target. We pushed past them and found the creature who was leading the attack. And you did what needed to be done. You fought to the bitter end. That's how I roll. And your sacrifice bought me the time we needed. There's so much we don't yet know about the beacon. Its power protects oh, this world. city. I can't remember if I have one, it but because it's one of my favorites. And stop the gloom tear from expanding. We couldn't close the gloom gate. But as long as the beacon remains lit, our enemies can't pass through it. Hmm. And in the year that followed, 
We've studied it. Learned more about this gloom. Learned how to bring you back. We survived thanks to you. But the damage is done. Skylight is safe and the land around it. But beyond yes, the highlands, all three of those are friends reality of Reality is collapsing into the gloom. There may be other beacons, other places Decided that repel the invaders. Oh, Levi. The only Levi. way to find out is to cut a path through the I'm gloom. sorry, dude. And for that, we need wayfinders. We need. Oh yeah, Ferd, another good friend. I know them through a mutual streamer and stuff. They're really good artists. Like all those people that pop by, are really cool. Hopefully they hung out and were really chill. And that of the others bought me the time I needed to light the beacon. And the beacon's light holds the gloom at bay. It's the only reason we're alive. What is the gloom? We still don't know. A year ago, the Eldrin attacked us and extinguished the beacon. And it was then that the gloom began to spread. It corrupts and consumes reality. Okay. The beacon protects us. But beyond its light, the gloom has swallowed the world, leaving only shadows and chaos. We don't know if anyone else has survived. That's why we need Well, you. if the, the players in the lobby are an indication that other people did survive, yes. You survived in the gloom. You can do it again. With the tools you've been given, you can cut through its shadows. Should have figured the wings would be you more dry be than a camel's away. ass in the desert. <laughs> we still know so little about the gloom. And so much of the world. It's a Pokemon. It. No. We need you to enter the lost zones to find a path through the shadows. I can see that, Set. You've been through an ordeal. I it's like my friend um, Fulcrum up there pointed it's out. It's, it's, it's Darksiders-ish, but not. And I can see that as well. You were a seeker once. You've just forgotten. Before the Gloomfall, we investigated ancient mysteries. Now it's the Seekers who are working to keep Skylight and its people alive. Where should I begin? Go to the Great Hall, up above the plaza. Wolf will want to meet you. We'll talk again after you've met with him and Lord Halar. <gasps> okay. I'm half expecting a watcher to appear with Mark Hamill's voice. That would be great. Love me some Mark Hamill. I assume it's over here. Whoop. I assume it's over here. Yep. Darksiders, and that's and that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. I tried to stream the first one, and when I did, I didn't get a lot of people to hang out with me, so I kind of got disinterested in it. It's like, I don't want to go through this by myself. Maybe one day I'll do it again. Okay. Oh, yeah, it really is. I, I enjoy the, the series as a whole. It is, and it's nice seeing THQ Nordic back after bankrupting themselves. <laughs> if you don't already own it, totally shifting gears here. But Cave Story Plus is free on Epic Game Store this week. Okay, I'll have to check that out. Yeah. 
finally see the yellow dot. I had to get so far away from it. I was on the right path and didn't even know it. Welcome, Wayfinder. You honor us with your presence. I fought the Eldrin during the attack, just as you did. He can run on a potato. <laughs> but it was your sacrifice that saved Skylight. It's still a blur to me. Who are you? Wolf. Before the fall, I Wolf. was an officer Aru. of the Avar Imperium. Now I command our forces, such as they are. There are all too many threats. Shrikes, breaches. But you'll see for yourself soon enough. We will have much to discuss in the days ahead. And we'll have quarters for you soon enough. Quarters. Much of Skylight. We sure we want to run in on the Lados. Don't think that land was working as quickly as they can. Recommended requirements. Okay. You have more important work ahead of you. But for now, find Lord Halar outside of the Great Hall. He'll get you ready for the tasks that lie ahead. But okay. I mean, for science, we do what we must because we can. Uh huh. The new Wayfinder. Delightful. I am Lord Halar. As you know, my lands and the Dominion itself have been swallowed by the gloom. But even now, especially now, names matter. I cannot remember his name, but he's in Mass Effect 2 is that one dude trying to get or Mass Effect trying to get his wife home. And he's been in a lot of like series. Um God, but I can see him because he's a live action actor too. Oh, it's bugging me. I'm gonna look I lead the Arcanists among the seekers. By necessity, we have focused our efforts on restoring Skylight. But it is my studies of the gloom that can help you. Not my knowledge of arcanic illumination. What can you tell me about the gloom? What we know for certain is that the gloom alters flora and fauna. I am Lord Totally Not Evil. Look at my cane. Where it lingers, it can consume. Samesh Batia. That, that's the character name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shadows Just wish I could remember the actor. I'll look that up. Lost zone. You were consumed by the gloom, but you Brian survived. George, that's his now name. You have the power to shape it to some degree. The shard you've been given focuses this gift. You just Google it too, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I remember him, he uh he was in Bubble Boy as the the guy that drove the ice cream truck, and then he was uh Guru Pathic in Avatar. Um like he's done a lot of stuff. Only a wayfinder can enter a lost zone. But this is just a glimmer of your full potential. If you He's also Roger's dad in the big gloom. <laughs> nice. One day we can undo the damage that has been done. But I can only tell you of the gloom. Omen can show you. Return to her near the gloom gate, Wayfinder. She will guide you in the next steps of your journey. Oh boy! So back over here. Rah! The unfortunate Lord of Halar is among the seekers during the Gloomfall. You had he fallen, like the rest of the Arcane Lords, I doubt you would be standing here. You've spoken with Wolf and Lord Halar. I am sure you have many questions, but the best way for you to understand the gloom is to experience it for yourself. The gloom is consuming our world. Our beacon holds it at bay, but much was lost before it was lit. Beyond skylight, you will using the focusing shard. Oops. You can pass through breaches to Excited reach the for shadow of what was Star of Acre Star and Matt Smith. God. I... These are unstable and He sounded like Ke Yes, he was also Kiati Mundi in Clone Wars. Good one, Levi. Yes. I forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me. 
quickly go through the track gate and try not to get lost in the musical forest. Uh, it's funny though, Set, you mentioned that. Hey, Blaze, good to see you. The that that article bugged me. I, I can't remember if I tweeted about it or not, but I'm like, out of all the things you referenced, you, you had to reference him being in Morbius. He was the only good thing about that movie from what I saw, because I couldn't sit through the whole thing. But, uh, you, okay, fair enough. Yeah, I did do it. I, I Today's been a day. My mind is blue. But, you know, they could have used Doctor Who. They could have used the House of the Dragon. I'd have rather they used Terminator Genesis than reference Morbius. Say what you will about Terminator Genesis, but it was not just a movie. It was it actually had something to it. Excuse me. I didn't feel any any substance to Morbius other than Jared Leto being Jared Leto, the and I don't like Jared Leto. Down our defenses, and we don't know how to stop it. We need you to explore the lost zones, to find a way to fight the gloom and reclaim our world. Zawaldo. We do know the large gate behind me is the key. In theory, you can reach any lost zone through this gate. Well, how are you doing, Blaze? In practice, there are limitations. I have more business. <laughs> no, nothing about... I mean, you're not missing much. Like, like I said, Matt Smith's the only good thing about it, so just, like, watch the scenes where he gets his vampire powers, and that's all you need to watch. This is starting to sound like Darksiders 2. <gasps> Usually, you must find and enter a breach directly to access... We've gone from one to two, the first time. just like that. After that... You can access it in any other breach you found through this gate. But you can't just stumble into a breach. You need a connection to the lost zone to guide you through it. This might mean finding an object from the zone or experiencing an event tied to it. Hmm. Okay. For now, I have a single connection I can share with you. Thank you for the hydrate, Gray. The Codex Hall. I will hydrate with some wawa. There. Go to the Just gate. got back from walking and Follow talking too much. Putting a salty boy in charge. <laughs> you can't just simply walk into Mordor. <laughs> I'll find a way. The shard you've been using is an incomplete tool. Find a Codex Ember in the gloom. Then we can transform your focusing shard into a full gloom dagger. Allowing you to harness your full potential. Oh yeah, I like potential. Okay. <laughs> Barbarian woman, oh my god. Nice. I almost called her Barbariana because I'd watched Kung Fury a, a, a short while ago with, with Levi. I, I still love that movie. Oh yeah, he he was in Kotor as well. Like, um, he's a fairly good voice actor. Yeah, I hope the sequel for Kung Fury is as good as the first one. But um, but yeah, uh, I remember the, the was it um, yeah yeah man, you mentioned that and it's coming back to me. <laughs> I love it. He was also Professor Pig in that one Batman cartoon that was like CG that was... It started off kind of mid. It got better, and then sadly they canceled it when it got fucking better. Uh, I think it was Beware the Batman. Let me check. Yeah, yeah, Beware the Batman. He was Professor Pig. It was an interesting thing. He, he was with Mr. Toad and everything. Like I said, it's, this show started off kind of eh, but it was starting to get good, and then they canceled this is it. A lost zone. It's not they even had fucking Kurtwood Smith, Red Foreman, as Commissioner Gordon. He did a good job. Like, the voice cast was pretty damn good, although it was... The layout, the creatures it, it's just... I don't know. It's sad. Like, no, no Batman cartoon will hold a candle to the 90s cartoon, but there have been some that have, have been really good for their own ways. That portal looked very bisexual. Oh, yeah. Love, love that. This lost zone is tied to Aurelian, a fortress monastery of the Avar Order of the Silver Codex. The Codex monks were conducting arcane research, and we need to know more about them. This is totally a lost zone, warrior. Absolutely not the castle. <laughs> Aurelian was raised by raiders from the maze years before the Gloomfall. 
You'll need to establish your own connection to it. I feel weaker than I was before. Yes. It was a miracle that we could pull you back to Skylight. But like your memories, some of your skills were lost. Don't worry. It will all come back to you in time. I hope so. This connection I provided is temporary and unpredictable. Look for a Codex Ember. With it, you can turn your shard into a full gloom dagger and establish your own connections. I can't guide you when you go deeper. Yes, I to poisoned escape, you with chaos. You'll the heart of this last zone. <laughs> oh, Fulgrim, you're on fire today. Destroy it. This weakens the gloom and lets us harvest its energy through your shard. Explore as thoroughly as you can. Hopefully, the supplies I'll be funny to uh, You will. And exploration may you grant will. you connection to other lost zones. Now go. And good luck. All right. Hey, you thought you were going to do some bullshit to me. Is that a loot box and a dungeon crawler? I think I, I, I heard something about it does have the pay stuff, but I ain't about to do that shit. Warrior, this favor says titty milk. Drink it as you hark forth in the battle. <laughs> You found an old gamer sub fire <laughs> might not poison you. <laughs> oh, I love my friends. Okay, I got the codex. Ooh, excuse me, at least that one. Pot. Oh. Time for me to go. Have fun with Dark Siders. Torch the gamer subs. All right, Fulgrim. I hope you know y'all stream goes well and you have fun. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you. Oh, 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 oh! Don't like that. Don't like that. No, no, no. Defeating these manifestations of the gloom will open the way forward, but it will also increase the power of all remaining creatures. Will that? Okay. Our brother's going to be dealing with biblically accurate missile launch after launches armor core. Oh, all right. 
I hope that one day play Armor Core 6. I, I'd like to play it in Baldur's Gate, but I, I don't have a PS5, so I can't do Baldur's Gate. So I also don't have a PS5. Oh, it's, it's Spooters. Wonderful. Want to try the new Fighters patch that came out? I, I heard about that. Well, I don't have a, like, I'd have to borrow my uh, lady's PC to play it, and I know she'd want to play it herself. Since we everybody got buffed, well, that's good. That's cool. Let me hydrate real quick. Thank you, Fulgrim. <sighs> Get a little more Wawa. Currently on non-speaking terms with Baldur's Gate 3. Uh-oh, what happened, if you don't mind me asking? I love how these fucking spiders bicycle kick like they're Liu Kang mains. I like money. I passed a skill check with a DC of 5 with a nat 20. I then had a charisma based skill check with a DC of 3 that I had advantage on that I whipped with two nat 1s that led to me dying. Oh, brother, I'm so sorry. That fucking sucks. That's. Mm. I understand your frustration. I would be very pissed too. Oh, wow, you're... Man, the game should not do that to you. Yeah, that is some bullshit. That's some fucking bullshit. Level 3 can also convert to a level 1 of any character, pretty much same, vice versa. We're getting Mar Marvel up in here, baby. <laughs> Marvel, Capcom. Maybe one day we'll have another good Marvel's Capcom. Maybe. Okay, there's the heart. The heart, Osborne! The heart! I'll approach it. I'm getting these memory frag. Okay. Well, never mind. Understand, man. That that's some bullshit. What is this? Something new. Something interesting. Who's there? I hear an echo in the darkness. You have promised, yes. But you don't have what I need. Not yet. Go ahead. Run along home. I'll be watching you, Wayfinder. Hmm. OK. 
Okay, leave the gloom. We did it. VR Imposer. Nice. I'll eventually figure out the V-Roid stuff because Demaris was kind enough to make me a V-Roid model and I'd love to do stuff with him and give him like some some duds that are closer to what Soul typically wears and then just have some outfits and do poses and stuff. Like, I was very happy that like when Hikari did streams with me, they featured me in my little V-Roid uh, model. It was nice to be included. I always love being included. <laughs> Uh oh. Game, don't tell me you like crashed or something. Oh god, it scared me there. It went just deathly silent. Comment panels, yeah, yeah. sure you'd find your way. And with an ember? Good. Good. Let's get to work. Yay! The Silver Codex studied ways to manipulate arcane energies. We can use the ember you recovered from Aurelian to create your Gloom Dagger and to establish your own connection to the ruins. You see, the shard you claimed in the gloom is a rough and imperfect tool. You need to make it a true extension of yourself. A blade that can cut through reality. Use the echo matrix to combine the ember and the shard. Visualize hmm. the shape of your dagger. You can draw on the threads of the gloom and make your vision real. Try it. Screams of the damned. Hey, Damaris. Also, I don't know if I may or may not own DBZ manga books that sell for a decent high price. We'll have to sell if that's the case. I mean, it depends. You were lurking? Oh, I appreciate you lurking. Create your gloom dagger at the Echo Matrix. I, excuse me, do I get to legit customize it? That would be pretty bad. Pretty badass. Oh, I wanted to make a custom one. Who's the gilf and when can I get a taste of him? <laughs> His name is Lord Halar, I think. Perfectly done. Woven from the pure elements of magic and drawn into reality. Now you have what you need to explore lost zones on your own. Let's review that procedure. To reach a lost zone, you need three things. A breach that serves as an entrance, a gloom dagger that can cut a path through the shadows, and a connection to the place consumed by the gloom. A connection can take the form of an object, such as the ember now bound to your dagger, or something more abstract, such as a memory or experience. You now have a gloom dagger, and through the ember you have a connection to the Codex Halls. So, what is it you are missing, Wayfinder? 
Have you been listening? A gloom breach? Yes, just so. You need to find the point at which this area collapsed. You must search the highlands for a sheet of gloom energy. A hole in the world. A hole. Once you've found it, use your dagger to carve a path. Explore what lies beyond, and destroy the anchor of that shadow. Thereafter, I suppose so, yeah. Jorelian through the gloom gate here. Because, I mean, in Metalocalypse, uh, Squizgar uh, says that one lady's like, Hi, you're a G-Milf. That's a grandmother. I'd like to, and they could cut away the... So, yeah, G-Milf can go either way. A hole, you say. There you are. Your gloom dagger is connected to the beacon of Skylight. Aside from being an invaluable tool for exploring the gloom, it also allows us to communicate through the link. Can I do like the the Green Ranger and play it like a flute, but it's a trumpet? Because that would make it the best thing ever. I heard another voice in Aurelian. Was that you? The voice in the gloom. No, that wasn't me. I warned you that the connection would be unstable. Remain alert. But I'm sure it was just some manifestation of the chaos. It was a bad person. There, these daggers, the shard. Where did they come from? Lord Halar and I spent much of this last year refining the daggers as we sought to retrieve you from the gloom. As for the shards, that's a tale for another time. A baddie. <laughs> Thank you for the stretch there, Levi. And the hydrate. Yeah. But now, I need you to return to the Codex Halls. We need to know more about the work of the Silver Codex. I always thought there were peaceful, devoted sages. No, no, no not I'm a cute so stretch, sure. no. Our work suggests they were experimenting with a sinister force that we have <gasps> Hello, been Hello, Zam. Good to see you. Before the Gloomfall. This work <laughs> could help us push back the gloom or reconnect our world. The world, though. As Lord Halar has told you, you must first find the breach tied to the Codex Halls out in the wider world. And that means leaving the safety of Skylight. Oh yeah, good stretch, Ian. Before you leave Skylight, I need you to bind your dagger to the signal fires here. This will strengthen your connection to the beacon and help you move quickly across the region. Okay. Once that's done, take the lift down to the highlands and find Warden Haas. She's in charge of our defenses. I will offer guidance when I can. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. There's the yellow marker. This way. <laughs> Talking about uh, that there's a world, oh man. Dang old road to roller, yo man. <laughs> how is beep boop? Also, how is game? I intended to get it, but I heard that waiting an hour to play is a thing. I didn't have to wait an hour. Uh... It maybe was, what, five minutes? I I don't know. But, uh, Beep Boop is tired from work, but wanted to stream and is already having a good time. Uh, the game, I'm having fun with it. I just want to be able to customize my dude eventually. Don't get me wrong, his basic looks alright, but I want to make this, you know, me. And I see some people having customized looks already. Maybe it did get patched, I don't know. But I'm glad. Also good to see you. Uh, interact with the signal fire near the great... Uh. Okay, hold on. Here, we'll do this first. How are you feeling? Are your limbs working as you expected them to? Does your body feel reliably solid? As a wayfinder, you aren't just a creature of flesh and blood. You shaped your body from the gloom, and it's your will that holds it together. It's remarkable. Because of this, you have powers you don't yet understand. Think of your recent battles. Have you seen flares of energy flowing from your fallen enemies? I have. 
These are echoes, fragments of the spiritual essence of your enemy, traces of who they were. As a wayfinder, you can fuse the echoes of your enemies into your own form. You can only hold a certain level of energy within your form. Too much and you could lose control. But each echo will enhance your capabilities in a specific way. As you progress, you'll learn how to weave echoes into your weapons and even your relics. This is a crucial tool that can dramatically increase your power. I urge you to experiment with it. I envy you, Wayfinder. I wish I could hold the essence of another creature in my hand and tap into a fraction of their strength and skill. It's a tremendous gift. Try it now. I slept a lot last week. I feel nettled that I'm in the comfy sleep moods now. I don't actually need to snooze up. Well, I mean, if you want to, if you feel the need to take a, a nappy nap, I understand. But up, dee 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 doo doo. Let me go find this. Oops. Loading, loading. Every time the music stops, I get worried that the game has blue. This is about to blue screen. They should continue the music or change songs or something so you don't freak out. I'm freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. I'm worried the game's gonna die. <laughs> well, Discord has an update. Let me do that real quick. Uh, hostage, lower skylight. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, this place is pretty. I feel like Christopher Lee needs to tell me a story about space and hope on the edge of the universe with the music. Yeah. I miss Christopher. Good lord, that's a sword. I miss Christopher Lee. I wish he was still with us, but he'd be ancient, so. There you are. Well met, Wayfinder. Welcome back to the world. What's left of it? It's an ugly business. The person just jumping. We're back. fighting the Shrikes for resources, and out beyond, you've got feral beasts and gloom-spawned monsters. What's a Shrike? You'll find out soon enough, I fear. Brigands and looters, some of them half feral from drinking God's blood and other madness. God's blood. Dangerous is what they are. But what's your business here? I need to enter the Codex Halls. Looking for the breach. I'm no wayfinder, but I know it. 
Head out past the foundry and through the ruined gate walls. Once you get to the swamp, look for the large gnarled tree and weathered steps. Okay. Be sure to bind your dagger to the signal fire here. You'll find them across the highlands. Never miss an opportunity to forge a connection. A connection. Yeah, buddy. Why are the signal fires Again, important? Again, I'm no wayfinder. I've heard they're connected to the beacon, and each connection strengthens its light. As a wayfinder, you can instantly move between the fires. You'll find it a useful tool. Through the fire and flames. God's blood sounds like a vampire's moonshine. I know, right? Huh. Reminds me, like, when I was a kid, um, my dad's family had a laundromat, and his sister, my aunt, had a snowball stand behind the laundromat that people could, you know, get snowballs while they did the laundry. And they had this typical uh, flavors and stuff, like tiger's blood, and it just reminded me of that. Yeah. Oh, God. 